No matter the time in history, there has always been a war happening somewhere. It's become a normal, yet tragic part of life. History is filled with stories of atrocities and lessons from some of the most difficult battles in history. But as society advanced, the ability to create unique and extreme weapons grew too. Some of these weapons were so inhumane that countries around the world came together in agreement to ban them. Thanks to things like the Geneva Convention, it's forbidden to use these weapons in war. From select poisonous gases to various types of explosives, here are five weapons that the military actually made illegal. The usage of chemical weapons emitting poisonous gases initiated during World War I. This was when both the conflicting sides were using poisonous gas to inflict agonizing suffering, causing immense battlefield casualties. These weapons consisted of renowned commercial chemicals that were assorted together into standard munitions like grenades and artillery shells. The gases used were chlorine, phosgene, sulfur. These gases were known to inflict painful burns on the skin, which led to a serious number of casualties that were not only indiscriminate, but also devastating. It was reported that almost 100,000 deaths were caused as a result of these poisonous gaseous weapons. The statistics reveal that ever since World War I was initiated, these chemical weapons have been the cause of more than one million casualties across the globe. Later, during the Cold War period, a significant development in the manufacture and stockpiling of these chemical weapons were experienced. By the 1970s and 80s, it was reported that approximately 25 states globally were developing chemical weapons to increase their warfare capabilities. However, after World War II ended, chemical weapons usage was reported to have been lowered. Having witnessed the devastating results of using poisonous gases in warfare, it was realized that there is an immediate need to outlaw such inhumane weapons. Hence, after 12 years of negotiations, the Chemical Weapons Convention, CWC, was adopted as a result of the Geneva Convention on 3rd of September 1992. This treaty was opened for signatures on 13th of January 1993 in Paris and was later implemented on 29th of April 1997. The CWC is regarded as the first ever disarmament agreement that was negotiated within a multilateral framework. The use of anti-personnel landmines was declared prohibited under the Mine Ban Convention. This treaty imposed stringent regulations on the usage, stockpiling, production and transfers of anti-personnel mines and was adopted in 1997. The Mine Ban Convention was signed by more than 150 countries in the quest to prohibit the use of these deadly warfare weapons. The result of this treaty depicted a positive impact which included a marked reduction of casualties. Moreover, most of the states were then declared to be mine-free as the majority of the stockpiles were destroyed. The reason is that thousands of people used to die or lose their limbs from stepping on a landmine that were left after war times. It was also reported that a greater percentage of the casualties were civilians, and that too in the countries that were at peace. The Anti-Personnel Landmine Convention positively enforced banning the stockpiling, transferring and usage of landmines. It also required countries to clear off their territories, while also advising other states to assist the affected countries. During the 1980s, the usage of the anti-personnel landmines was stringently regulated under the CCW Treaty. However, the majority of the countries wanted a complete ban to be imposed. The Mine Ban Convention has been joined by approximately three quarters of the countries across the globe. Since it was imposed more than a decade ago, it has resulted in a virtual halt in the global production of anti-personnel mines and a radical decrease in their deployment. Under the TPNW Treaty, or commonly known as the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, the usage of nuclear artillery has been banned. This is an international agreement that was signed to comprehensively prohibit nuclear weapons. However, the ultimate goal is to bring the possession and usage of nuclear weapons to total elimination. 
TPNW was adopted on 7th of July 2017 and was later opened for signatures on 20th of September 2017. Later, on 22nd of January 2021, the treaty formally entered into force. For the nuclear-armed states that have joined the treaty, a time-bound agenda for negotiations is provided. The goal of this agenda is to reach an irreversible elimination of the country's nuclear weapon program. Nuclear weapons have always been recognised for their catastrophic humanitarian and environmental consequences that generally extend to decades and cross generations. The examples of Hiroshima and Nagasaki are evident to us that not only do these weapons breed fear and mistrust among nations, but they also can wipe out entire cities in a heartbeat. Moreover, their high production cost, maintenance and modernization divert the public funds from important necessities like healthcare, education and other vital services. Banning these inhumane warfare weapons under international laws is not only a critical step to limit their usage, but eventually ending them. The Convention on Cluster Munitions entered into force on 1st of August 2010 and was regarded as a major advancement in the quest to protecting the civilians during the war. This internationally signed treaty systematically bans the production and usage of cluster munitions, requiring the participants to clear the contaminated areas within 10 years. It also imposes on them to destroy their cluster munition stocks within eight years. The reason why cluster munitions are deemed prohibited revolves around two main reasons. Firstly, they spread numerous submunitions that are spread indiscriminately over a wide area proving to be devastating for civilians caught in a strike. Second, the majority of the submunitions fail to explode during the initial impact. This leaves dangerous duds like landmines and can kill and maim for years to come, unless they have been cleared and destroyed. Universalization of the Convention on Cluster Munitions has been deemed a top priority as improved participation has strengthened the stigma against cluster munitions. This also helps bring things closer to the ultimate goal of the Convention, which is to put an all-time end to the suffering and casualties caused by these warfare weapons. Biological weapons were banned under the Biological Weapons Convention BWC. This disarmament treaty effectively outlaws biological and toxin weapons by eliminating their production, development, acquisition, stockpiling, transfer and usage. The BWC treaty was entered into force on 26th of March 1975. It was regarded as the first multilateral disarmament treaty, which imposed a ban on the production of an entire category of weapons of mass destruction. One of the most remarkable aspects of this convention is the fact that it's of unlimited duration. Currently, 183 states have signed this treaty, while four other states have signed it but have not yet ratified it. However, the remaining 10 states across the globe have neither signed nor acceded to the Biological Weapons Convention. As per the BWC, a strong global norm against biological weapons has been developed, reflected in the treaty's preamble. This states that using biological weapons would be repugnant to the conscience of mankind. Some weapons have surfaced throughout the history of warfare that have been recognised for their capability to cause absolute pain and destruction. So much so, that even the most warring countries across the globe considered it inhumane to a point where outlawing them was the only civilised option. While they may seemingly disagree about everything happening globally, agreeing to ban certain warfare weapons and their use is deemed appropriate by everyone. Let us know in the comments section below as to which warfare weapon you think has imposed a greater risk to the lives of civilians. If you're new, be sure to click the link on screen now to check out another video just like this one. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.